Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just gonna be doing a real quick video showing you how I got this solar panel set up on my kayak just to give me a little bit of extra range while I'm out on the water. This one's gonna be a quick video. This is my Recon 120. It's got this dry hatch up front and back here, back behind the removable tub, I've got my battery set back here. And on the battery, I've got my 60 amp circuit breaker that goes out to my trolling motor, but connected directly to the battery is this SAE connector. And the other end of that SAE connector, 20 amp MPPT tr solar charge controller, has the same kind of SAE plug at the end. So it just plugs in directly to the battery like so. And then you can see here it has these three modes. You just select the mode for LIFE PO4 because that's what kind of battery I'm using and then on the other end the charge controller came with these SAE connectors and it came with this little adapter that way if your solar panel has the wrong SAE connector on it you have this to reverse it that way you don't accidentally plug negative to positive but the solar panel I bought has these um, XT60 plugs on the end so I just made this little it's about a three inch adapter it's SAE to XT60 and that plugs in right here and then um, I just get the battery pushed back in there it sits with just enough space under there for me to slide this tub back in and I have this little notch cut out right here in the tub because I've got my live scope cable running to the transducer into the back of my Garmin mount and I have it set up like that just because I didn't want to buy a second live scope for my boat, so I have it to where it's easy to remove the live scope itself from the kayak and I don't have to deal with running it through the hole. I have it to where my three cables just fit through this notch right here and my hatch still closes and creates an almost completely watertight seal. Anyways. After you have the charge controller connected to the battery and you make sure it's set up on LifePo 4, then you can connect the charging cable from the solar panel. The panel I got came with four different types of plugs, so it's supposed to be able to plug into the different solar battery banks. But for my purposes, I'm going to be using this XT60 connector and it just plugs in like that. You can see the battery is flashing meaning it is getting a charge, but it's not really registering anything right now because that cloud cover just rolled in and it's going to be a fairly overcast morning. And this particular solar panel is small enough that it just sits right here on the front of my kayak. This is advertised as a 50 watt solar panel. The battery advertised as having 640 watts. So if this was the only thing charging it, it would take 12 hours to charge, but on a normal fishing day where it's partly cloudy or mostly sunny this realistically puts out around 30 watts and my motor at full speed will pull 600 watts so this will not do much in the way of actually extending full throttle at a, at a noticeable amount however when i'm running at trolling speeds or slowly making my way around the bank and, or around coves this will provide enough power to offset the power draw from the battery by supplementing the motor or when i'm not running the motor it will give me a little bit more power back i'm typically out on the water for about six hours at a time so on a mostly sunny or partly cloudy day this panel should get me an extra about 25 percent capacity on that 50 amp hour battery which isn't bad i'm gonna run into the market real fast and then head out to the water and when i get there i'll show you how i secure it right here to the front panel and uh, show you what it actually looks like out on the water with this solar panel okay so out here on the water now sun is starting to come up might actually start peeking through the clouds a little bit but to keep it secured on the kayak i got this kayak bungee cable it's the same stuff you would use for um, storage spots on your kayak, like for the tie downs and stuff. But I just picked up a um, 25 foot roll of this for various projects. And I have a piece tied through these little metal rings on the corners of the panel. And the bungee is running under the handle up here on the front. And then on the back, I have it to where this, or this one is a little bit longer. It just runs under the two latches on the dry box and with the way it's set up you still have full access to opening the box because the panel got a um, four individual panels 
and it folds closed. So like that, I could still open the box and check on the battery. Right now with the uh, overcast, it's charging at 0.2 amps. But again, it's still real early in the morning. And as the sun comes up, I expect it to start producing more power. A little bit later, I will check back in when the sun is up before this storm hit. As you can see, we're in for a pretty overcast day, but I should be able to show you um, how much power we could typically expect when the sun's actually up. And this panel and the charge controller and all the cabling for it, I got it all off Amazon, so I will leave that link down below. That's what it looks like sitting on the kayak. Small, fairly compact, fits nicely on the front of the Recon 120, and it's completely out of the way. Okay, as you can see, it's a little bit sunnier now. Let's go ahead and get a quick look at how much power we're generating. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. We're at 1.3 amps now. And that's um, still coming through the clouds, partially overcast. If I'm just hanging out in a spot like this, fishing around this cove right here, then it'll uh, it'll recharge my battery a little bit. And then as long as the sun keeps coming up, even with partial overcast, I could I could still reasonably expect around 25 to 30 watts of power being generated from it. It said it was doing one and a half amps right now, so that's so that's about 18 to 20 watts of power that it's generating with slight cloud cover. I mean, it's a little counterproductive to a solar power video, but I had to come over here to the shade to talk to the camera for a minute. Looking straight into the sun behind the camera was a little bit unpleasant. But anyways, yeah, so this little solar panel isn't enough to actually run the motor. But like I said, this is a fairly cheap and simple setup for solar that should get you a little bit more time out on the water, or at the very least to keep your cameras or your cell phone charged while you're out there. But anyways, I'll leave links in the description for the solar panel and the charge controller I used and any of the cabling that you might need. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you found it helpful, consider hitting that like button, and I will catch you on the next one.